What's up, it's your boy Daquan back here again, and today we have the Shotgun Shogun. This is a Gun Boy variation that's going to lean a little bit more towards capitalizing on the shotguns and have a full layout. That's a lot of different options that you can play around with, and we even have a couple of different trees that you guys can mess around with and see which one you like better. So let's go ahead and preview this tree. So it might look a little bit interesting, but, uh, you know, Rator and I actually put this thing together and it works very, very well. And of course, we'll be able to see which one you like the best. So general idea of the Gunboy build or even the Shotgun Shogun is going to be Fade Looping. So the concept of Fade Looping is to get inside of Fade, get it out of Fade, and get right back inside of Fade as fast as possible. In order to do that, we're going to need critical hits. And with Megavore, we're able to get critical hits in some of those spots where we don't get critical hits naturally. And then that on top of head count is going to give us cooldown reduction when we do hit those critical hits, which is going to allow us to get back inside of Fade, rinse and repeat, to blow up the map at a very, very good pace. With that, we're able to sustain, move around, do good DPS, and have a nice little flow of combat generally. So we're going to start off with the Garcia. This is a recently buffed up shotgun with a great magazine size, great damage, as well as great fire rate. Now you can use a 100% ASC for this thing or consecutive hits. Consecutive hits is able to scale up to 200%. So you can use this inside of situations where you're fighting a higher density of enemies or you're just shooting a longer portion of time. So something like the Malawan Takedown or Slaughter Shaft with some of its longer rounds is going to help you out here. With 100% ASC, if you're just flying around and blowing up people very, very fast, that's going to be your better option of the two. So the consecutive hit scales up to 200%. That is going to go ahead and scale up with some things such as dots. And we have a lot of dots added into this particular variation to go ahead and help that out. So we have the corrosive dot from our transformer. We have the radiation dot from our hunter seeker. And we also have fire on our hunter seeker. And we have our electric banjo. So with all this stuff in place, we have access to every dot inside of the game in terms of elements. And the electric banjo is great for the setup because it passes the shock over to the enemies as well as it applies those ASCs from our shield and our grenade. Also, the hunter seekers are able to proc the electric banjo, which means that we're going to be able to get even more chances of uh, additional dot procs. Banjo is a fun thing to mess around with inside of this build. You can run other artifacts that we'll hop into in a little bit. So if you feel like you need a little bit more sustain, go ahead and swap out that Banjo. Another cool thing about Banjo is that the chains can make a war crit and that will allow you to go ahead and get your cooldown reduced a little bit more. In our second slot, we have a Brainstormer. This is a great shotgun that allows you to shock a whole lot of enemies. It is one of the better shotguns for flat. You can run a 15% life steal. That's going to work out well, especially if you're running the banjo. You need something to sustain you a little bit. And if you're just running through and you have a different artifact, the 100% ASC for the brainstormer is also a phenomenal option. Inside of our third slot, we have a conference call. Now, this is going to be really good for Boston situations, especially Wotan, which are well against Grave Ward. And it gives us something that we can use pretty long range and do a lot of work with the shotgun. In our fourth slot, we have a recursion. Now, the recursion is really our one-shot button for Wotan. It allows us to blow them up at a very respectable rate. And now, the recursion is something that you need the elemental ASCs on your shield as well as your grenade for. Having those allow it to get those additional ricochets, and that is really what the recursion is all about. The anoint that you want this thing is 100% ASC or the 125% splash. The reason why we are running splash is because it does more damage, and the ricochets actually do splash damage. So, that is something to keep in mind if you want to get the most bang. For your buck utilizing the recursion it is also a good mobbing tool but once again it is reliant on these ASCs. so swapping around to rack might work out a little bit better for you or you can just run fade away either one is going to work out relatively well so that's a very solid four gun layout you can swap in the garcia for the stagecoach will work out well you can add a bang stick in there somewhere you can rock something like the lob which is also a fantastic gun now if you're running the garcia inside the malawan takedown you're kind of locked into the transformer to a certain degree because those enemies that have those shields they're going to go ahead and ricochet and that's going to cause you to eat up a lot of your own bullets and that's going to be something that is a little bit rough but outside of my one takedown you can rock something like the one shot of shield you can rock something like the stop gap but if you do want to get the most value out of your one shot of shield i would 100 percent recommend running the stagecoach that's going to give you the most value per shot and it's going to allow you to chunk the enemy at an amazing rate Even with consecutive hit, feel free to go ahead and swap out that electric banjo for something with more sustain. So something like the last stand auto idle, something like the snowdrift auto idle will work out very well. 
And if you're running into any ammunition issues, a cut purse auto idle, along with a face puncher, which we'll go ahead and swap over to now, is gonna go ahead and allow you to get your ammo back and just flow through the general content, especially inside of those longer engagements. And if you don't wanna to run to like a venom machine inside of slaughter shaft, you just shoot the enemy one time with a face puncher, you should be able to get back a sizable amount of ammunition and just continue on with the general flow of combat. For our class mod, we have the Cosmo Stalker right here, and it is able to boost up our shotgun damage in general, as well as our critical damage for some of our more important shotguns, such as the Conference Call, which is great for Wotan once again, the Brainstormer, and the Stagecoach. Also, the Garcia is another Jacob, so we're just getting bonuses on that as well. So our guys that we're using 90% of the time are going to get that significant bonus. You can even swap out one of these critical damage substats and switch it out with 25% weapon damage if you just want to use uh, one type of gun a bit more than the other. You can go all in on Hyperion, honestly, with a conference call and the Brainstormer if you really do enjoy that type of playstyle a bit more than just the Jacobs. So I'll go ahead and wrap up the skill tree real quick and I'll go ahead and show some of these variations and we will be out of here. So Megavore, so that way we have a crit chance. And when we do, end up critting. We have head count, which gives us a chance of getting back our cooldown. They leave no trace, which has a chance of giving us back our ammo. And now, the rest of this tree is really just going to give us damage and planetary soccer. Hunter's Eye, which actually got fixed, so you really will feel this thing when you end up shooting the Valkyries and Wotan. You'll see the armor damage difference 100%. We have damage from big game, which ends up boosting up our hunter skills. We have most dangerous game, which, you know, more damage. And then Galactic like Shadow, which is even more damage. Second intention is good to smoothen out the reload of the different shotguns that we have. The Garcia has a 2.9 second reload time, and it's a little different depending on which one you have. But the shotguns can use second attention, and we have a tree specifically for second attention that's going to pop up in a little bit. So for our green tree, just maxing out on damage from Fury's attack, HP from self repairing system. One point to all my BFFs is enough to keep the pet alive. If you don't feel like this is the case, Swap a point on a self repairing system and put one point into here so that way it is able to sustain a little bit better. One point to lick the wounds is able to pick you back up and keep you alive. And then we have the health regeneration as well as the damage reduction coming from turn tail and run, which is going to allow us to, you know, turn tail and run around the map and hopefully stay alive while we do so. And for the blue tree, three points for systems hunter, two points into ferocity, one point into heat bites because when the ricochet ends up happening, you get frenzy stacks and that's going to help the pet frenzy stack very very smoothly you can run the gunslinger jabber it's going to do a great job of stacking up frenzy for you one of the better pets to stack up frenzy and then the scorcher ant is also a pretty decent one of stacking up frenzy but it provides you with that elemental damage as well as hp regeneration and for our augments of course we are rocking fade away in conjunction with not my circus which we talked about which is a fantastic taunt and then onto your dead, which is going to allow you to get that HP regeneration as well as movement speed so you can zoom around the map. If you are running something like the Lob, feel free to put some points into Two Fang. And we're going to go ahead and pop up with some of these variations that you can mess around with. See which one you like the best. If you like one better than the other, go ahead and let me know inside the comments below. These are really down to preference and however you feel uh, about it. All of these are going to be relatively close in power. And we did like some background math. And then there is some RNG in regards to. Uh, Megavore and the crits and depending on where the person ends up aiming one cool tip if your pet ever ends up going down You can go ahead and swap out the pet And then it will bring it right back up You could even do something like this. So say you wanted the guard skag again, which you go ahead and do is do this and Then you go for the swap And we got our little guard scab, buddy. You can do that when your pans up dying, but you know, you got some options out here. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys have any questions about anything, go ahead and let me know inside the comments below. I'm out of here. Adios.